Well, I got my craft room, art room all done, all organized. It's complete. I'm super excited. Uh, some people have been asking, Doug, when you retire, what are you going to do? Well, when you look in this room, you know I'm going to be doing a lot of art stuff still. So um, I'm super excited about it. Turned out really nice. I love it. Um, everything is very functional and I, I think it's going to work really well for me. So let's take a look at Doug's Crafting Art Den. Welcome to Doug's Crafting Art Den. Come on in. Well, before you enter the art den, crafting den, um, I have this picture up of my mom and my dad. And the reason why they're in this hallway, because my mom, she used to sew, she would, uh, she did everything. She can crochet, she can knit, she sewed, she made own drapes and uh, curtains for the house. She could make her own clothes. She was very, very um, talented in that respect. She never thought she was an artist. And I used to say to her, what are you talking about? Look, you know how to sew, you know how to uh, knit and crochet, that's art, you know? But she was thinking more like painting and those kinds of things. But there's my mom and dad there at Christmas time. And that's when they got married. That's my mom as a little girl. <laughs> I think that's when they first moved to New York. And, um, and they're my mom and dad. I love that picture of them hugging each other. That's how I picture them now. Anyway, yeah, there was my mom. It's her in the middle. That's her when she was a teenager. All right, so. Let's take a look at Doug's Crafting Art Den. Here you go. Let's take a look. It is all complete. And it is all very purposeful. And I love how it turned out. We're going to look at all these items up close in particular. And go through every part of the room. You ready? Here we go. So the very first thing you see, of course, is the island. And the island, I got these baskets off of Amazon, and I love them because they're very large and you could put a lot in there. But if you notice, I labeled everything. Everything is labeled, so I know exactly what's in there. And I think that's important because, you know, you don't want to just try to figure out where everything is. <laughs> So it helps to have everything concealed with a nice basket, but yet you know exactly what's in that basket and you don't have to go hunting for it. Everything is nicely labeled. This uh, Ikea shelf, um, this one is called, uh, I think it's Phallix or Hallux. I have to look it up. I always forget the name of this one. But um, it has the, right here, the uh, risers. So this was able to go up about seven inches or so, six, seven inches. So it really is a nice size counter. So I just love this. I got this Fiskars mat. This is really nice for measurement and I love that. I also have some of these extra Fiskars and measuring mats. I have one here, um, but I think it's super useful and I love 
the tabletop. Once again, this is Ikea and I love it because it's so large and it works so well in this room. And here in this, I have a lot of colored paper. I have, um, right here is my other type of paper. I have some craft paper, um, have some other types of paper, uh, more craft paper that is used for measurement also. Um, just a bunch of different papers that I use for art. This is, I haven't used anything for this yet, but this is really a good idea to store paints and I'll show you that later uh, to keep paints in. But for right now, I just put that in this drawer and um, more paper. <laughs> so it's construction paper, watercolor paper, all different types of paper in there. And I think this is, I could call this my paper section. Um, in the back, here I have more uh, for paper, little uh, holders, I, I love that. This here is where I'm gonna house um, when I shoot videos. This is my little, uh, not tripod, but something like that, a little uh, holder for my phone. So I'm just gonna store that there. This one is my measurement boards right in here. So I have all that in here. And that's some canvases that I have. And then this side right here, is basically a little indent. And if I wanted to put like a little bar stool here, I could, or you know, stool for a, a countertop or something like that. I could and just sit here, but I don't think that's gonna be, you know, I'm gonna be standing most of the time, so I may not do that. But that is the island, I love it. Now behind the door is the wrapping station. So I have this for ribbons, different ribbons that I have. I just store them in this little container that I got at Hobby Lobby. Um, I figured there's no point in labeling anything because you can see exactly what it is. But um, what do you call it? I like that that's up there. I also have more a ribbon box here for more ribbon. I have tape dispensers. I have scissors, double-sided tape, more ribbon, uh, tissue paper. There's my uh, easy bow maker down there. So for me to make bows and stuff like that. And then all the um, wrapping paper. So birthday paper, Christmas paper, it's all there. And if you notice, once again, when you open the door, it's concealed. So you don't really see that. You know what I mean? That's in the corner. Love that. So up on the wall, uh, if you notice the paint color, I talked about this in part one video, the... The, um, I think it's called Stone Lion is the color of the paint from Sherwin-Williams. Love that color paint. I think it looks really nice in here. And that's the tints shade sign that I made. <laughs> I actually made that uh, for my art classroom when, uh, you know, I'm still, this is my last year of teaching, but um, I took that home as sort of like a little memory and uh, from when I was, when I taught art. So uh, I think it goes nice in here, and it's a, once again, this is a art craft room, so I think it works out perfectly. I talked about this last time. I got that at Target, and I think that's really pretty. A little uh, artificial plant arrangement, nice basket. has nothing in it now, but it's always good to have some extra storage just in case you need it. That clock there, you know, I think it goes well with the colors. And then here we have all the different uh, cubby stations or sections. So let's talk about each one. This is where I keep my P-Touch. I love my brother P-Touch right here to label things. I also have this small one, Dymo. I think I got this at Target a long time ago, but I like that one too because it's a little smaller. And I keep back here uh, my tools. Let me pick this up. So that's where I keep my tools, like just regular tools, level, you know, ha little hammer, those kinds of things. And I keep it right back there. So out of the way, this decorative basket is in front of it. So it looks nice. This was bought at Target and I was able to find three others. Yay. I was so happy about that. Here's going to be some ribbon, extra ribbon that I'm going to have, ribbon uh, basket. This is my tool. I have some tool in here. This is pipe cleaners. Down here is... Christmas craft items. I just have a bunch of different Christmas craft items. And this little lion back here, I put him back here. This has special meaning for me because when I was teaching and I worked with a toxic teammate, <laughs> very toxic, 
uh, I used to come down, come home from school just really bummed, you know, um, she was really a, not a nice person. And so anyway, I'll never forget Yvonne bought me this to put in my classroom and, and put it on my desk. And he said, every time, uh, she annoys me or pull in one of her, you know, things, um, I'm going to watch my language on this video, <laughs> but, uh, anyway, pulling some of her stuff, <laughs> that I should just look at the lion and think of him because he is Leo the lion. That's his uh, sign. He's Leo. So this has special meaning to me. So uh, I'm just going to keep him back here as a little memory. Thank you, Yvonne. <laughs> here I have this. This is for some jute twine I have and also just gooby gone and different like glue dots and fabric glue and fabric fuse. And um, I do have a little two little containers of... Um, Glitter. I'm not big on glitter, but, you know, maybe for the holiday time, it's always good to have something. This is where I'm keeping my glue guns. Yes, I have about four glue guns. <laughs> and then glue sticks are there. And also in the back, there's extra glue sticks in that container. So I just keep it right behind it. So everything's in one place. And notice that this doesn't need to be labeled because you can, ex you can see exactly what it is. Uh, this is my Jingle Pops fabric. Um rolls that I have that I use for making crafts and uh, doing Christmas ornaments. So yes, you can kind of see it. It's in the basket too, but I figured it's okay to label that one. I have yarn down here in case. I'm not really big using yarn, but I do have a lot of it because of Christmas and different times I might need yarn. I do not, I do not knit or um, do any of that, but it's good for other types of crafts, so I definitely have enough yarn to last me. Uh, down here, Christmas craft items. Yeah, just Christmas craft items uh, Items in here, so you know, pine cones, those kinds of things. And uh, this is more Christmas crafts. This is just general craft items in here. I see all those different things. So this is good because these baskets also came from Ikea. But it looks nice on the shelf and conceals all the different items. This is some cotton rolls in here that I have. So yeah, I like this unit. Very functional, looks good. I'm very happy with it. Okay, next is my little office desk area. I love this uh, desk. This is an Alex desk from Ikea. I put it together. I think I did a pretty good job myself. And um, I just love it. But I have a Boone uh, organizer unit for all my Sharpies and colored pencils and markers and highlighters and, and um, pens and all these different things. So I love that. This Boone organizer you can get at Amazon for, I think it was, it was around $27. Um, I don't need this glitter here. This is a Martha Stewart glitter. I don't know why that's there. But tape dispenser, stapler, pencil sharpener. All regular desk items, you know, scissors. Bone folders are always important to have. Um, I love bone folders for many art projects and things like that. But um, so you might want to have one by your desk, but also in your uh, working area. This lamp I already had. It's white. I thought it looked good here. I have this little white board um, in case I need to make notes. But this is where I'm actually going to keep my laptop. I'm hoping Yvonne buys me a laptop for my retirement. Hint, hint. <laughs> a new laptop. So that would be nice. This would be a nice working station. This is my little Ikea uh, <laughs> plant. It was real cheap. I think it was five or six bucks. But um, I, I liked it for some reason. <laughs> and this Monet. Um, I actually had this up in my art classroom too. Um, I took it home. I brought it home. Um, I I bought it, but <laughs> but I didn't want to leave this one there because I liked it, and also as a memory too, for when I taught, because I used to use this piece when we talked about Monet. So all memories, yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But um, in the drawer, I love these draw units. Um, really cool um, little organizers, and I like keeping things. Like these are brads, these are uh, push pins, safety pins, all these different things in containers. Um, got some tape. Um, I keep other, what is it in here actually? This one I should label on. Oh yeah, these are like hole punches um, that I have, three hole punch. 
And then this one is some tools. It's actually a drill that I have. And so I love that. This chair I put together too. This is an Ikea. Um, I can't pronounce the name of it, but I'll, <laughs> I'll leave the name. But I love it. I, I think it looks so nice. It's very uh, comfortable too. And this pillow I just use as an accent really. So back, back support too, but that pillow I got at Target. Love my little office desk area. Now the window treatments I got off of Amazon. I love these window treatments. It's ivory. I think it looks really great in the room. Um, so I'll leave that in case you're interested in the window treatments. But yeah, looks really good. Came in great shape. I already had the curtain rod. So I think it looks really nice. Now, now the main storage work area. All right, so this is where I'm going to be painting. And I actually have a little tabletop easel with a little canvas board all ready to go. There's my <laughs> Bob Ross bobblehead. <laughs> there he goes. <laughs> little tree, little tree. Oh, look at there. Look at the little clouds. Happy little clouds. <laughs> He's my little inspiration there. Um... I got this little organizer off of Amazon. I love it and to you know dry paints and keep hold paints and things like that brushes. More brush sets that I have a little this is a uh, little turntable carousel for my different brushes. And then I have hole punches, different punches here and edges for you know crafting, um fabric paints, stamps, those kinds of things. This little organizer here. This is different embellishments, scrap paper, craft paper items, random art supplies. So I keep everything neat in there. Those are some paint palettes and uh, just random art supplies, watercolor, different uh, things there. And I put this up just now. Um, I was going to use it to hold little paint, so I'm probably still going to use that. So I'm just going to leave that up there for now. And uh, when I get little paint bottles and I can put that there um here's my pegboard you know different rulers I love these uh, metal rulers these are great for doing crafts and just different sharpie markers and watercolor pencils and these are some sharpie uh, acrylic pens and things like that um these are good for they're doing different art supply, uh, doing different art and craft projects, I should say, not art supplies. And then just wooden stars and just random stuff, Q-tips and spray adhesive and more um, felt glue and those kinds of things. Here's the scissors that I, I purchased when I first came to my art room. These are different crafting scissors that have different edges. So I'm, I'm not sure how much I'm going to be using this, but I didn't want to leave that there because I bought it. <laughs> and so, um, but anyway, uh, it's here. It's like out of Mexico, by the way. It's like a Frida Kahlo, Dia de los Muertos. <laughs> a little whiteboard, love that, in case I need to make notes of anything. Super cool. This, I, I think I got this at Michael's, this little carousel. But once again, bone folders, super important to have. Um, I just have a whole bunch. I do need to organize this better, though. Craft glue, you know, different glue sticks. These are great for cutting wood. Um, pliers, different things. This, rotary cutter. Wow, super important. Love using my rotary cutter. And this is a Fiskars. So I think I have two, which they should kind of be together in the same, in the same spot. So let's move that over. Yes, that looks better. Um, yeah, so just different random art things, pencils, you know, uh, tweezers in case I need tweezers and things like that. Yep, all different things. Paper cutter, this is just a small little paper cutter that I have. This pegboard holds paper towels, super important in an art room or craft room that you have some paper towels readily available. And then this unit here, let's take a look at this one. So this unit here is called the Vasey, and this one was a little bit harder to put together than the Alex draw that I got at Ikea. This one I ordered off of Amazon, but 
Um, once again, to hold more art supplies. Uh, these are like some fabrics, um, different things. Everything is in its place. Um, I got some more craft paper there. Um, some containers, it still doesn't have anything, but that's good. You always want to leave some um, empty either shelves or drawers or containers. So, But uh, here we have some felt squares, um, some more. This is fabric uh, pieces and different different art supplies that I have down here. Tape, you know, random stuff. This over here is where I keep my deco mesh. So I used to make wreaths, I used to sell wreaths. Um, and so I keep all my deco mesh here. So when I get the inspiration to make a wreath that's right in the room, love that. And then on these um, alpha shelves that I got at the container store, I just have, this is sewing stuff. Now I don't really sew, but for little projects, I can do little projects, little sewing things. So that's what these two boxes are for up here and over here. Just decorative plant, some of my art people. This is supposed to be, uh, I think that's Andy Warhol, yeah. Andy Warhol, the scream is behind. <laughs> that's a Romero Brito piece, by the way, Jiminy Cricket. Romero Brito uh, is one of my favorite pop artists. He's a contemporary artist. He resides in Miami, Florida, so I really like that. Here's some art books, just different art books that I have. Um, more storage for double-sided tape and different art things, fabric, remnants, you know, all different buttons, all different arts and crafts type of things. Here's some more books that I have, Martha Stewart stuff, just some images, Better Homes and Gardens. Um, labels, you know, random art things. This is where I keep my wood rounds right here for ornaments, Christmas ornaments, different things, wood blocks. I'm gonna try to get in a little into wood carving, so I have that there. More art books, um, just envelopes, different things, Mod Podge, just where I keep my Mod Podge. And different things like, uh, this is, um, you know, different adhesives. This is, you know, this is fixative, Mod Podge, you know, different things. Up here, just boxes, cards, stickers, some more, just the yeah, Ayoi Kusama. <laughs> There's a Mickey Mouse Romero Brito. I used to show that to my art kids just to, when I introduced Romero Brito and I would take him in and just show the younger kids. They used to love that. And uh, some more, that's this, these bobbleheads, clay bobbleheads I had fifth grade make. God, about three years ago, I guess it was, but that was the example I did to show them, and I kept it as a little memory souvenir. That's where I keep some florals, random florals for reeds and stuff like that up there in that basket. But yeah, everything has a purpose. Everything here is like, there's a couple of decorative pieces, but mainly it it's to house a lot of supplies, a lot of different things. I got some more paints in that K tub here. There's some paints in there. There's me and Yvonne, and this flower arrangement I got also at Target, and that is a Keith Haring piece, so yeah, Keith Haring. Anyway, um, so that's this area. Underneath is where I store a trash can, and that's where I keep all my paints. So I have watercolor paints, oil paints, acrylic paints, tempera paints, uh, paint sticks, paint markers, so a lot of uh, paint is located in that area. And so like I think I mentioned before, this is Velcro so you can take this off. And then this is where I'm holding or I keep my drying rack. So um, if I do a painting, I keep it here. So I have some of my random paintings underneath here for storage, I just keep it there. And um, this mat, I think is important, not just in case anything would drip, but you know, I try to be really careful and I'll have to be really careful <laughs> that no paint hits this. But if it does, this is easily replaceable, you know, so. In here, this is where I also keep some paints and things like that. So this is just all concealed with that. That's why I had a friend ask, what is that for? And I said, oh, it's just to conceal my drawing rack so it's not out in the open.
Okay, so one last thing is that, I don't know if I mentioned it, but these mats, this is a table mat, uh, desk mat. I love it. It's to protect the table. The table already has paint on it, <laughs> both of them, but I think it just looks better. And uh, anyway, I think it's, I think that part, that section looks really good. It looks busy, I know. A lot of stuff going on. Hopefully it doesn't look too cluttered, but I have a lot of stuff and... I have to store it somewhere. Now you might say, Doug, what about that closet? <laughs> well, we don't want to look at the closet. <laughs> the closet is where a lot of my Christmas stuff is in there, like Christmas decorations and things like that. So I do have another room in the house that also has a bunch of Christmas decorations and Halloween de decorations, which that's going to be a project for me during the summer to organize all that. But this one has a lot and I need to really go through there and get rid of a lot of things and reorganize and who knows, maybe one day I can um, use that for storage too. <laughs> so you can see this side of the room. I love the ceiling, how it pops up like that. And like I said, that paint color looks really nice against the original paint color, which is sort of like that bone white and uh, I think it turned out really good. And I think I got this piece at Hobby Lobby a long time ago. And anyway, that is Doug's craft and art room in detail. I hope you enjoyed our um, little tour today. And hopefully it gave you some ideas if you are interested in creating an art slash craft room or if you have one already maybe you want to reorganize it or redo it um i know there's a lot of fancier art rooms out there i've been watching some different youtubes and um some people really go all out but for me on my budget this all cost um not the supplies of course just the furniture that i bought uh pro definitely was under a thousand the furniture um of course, if you add the supplies and the different things, like the baskets. and But I didn't buy too many. Like, these are new. These are new. So I didn't buy too many new baskets. Those baskets up there I already had. And that one over here. So um, I didn't buy too many new things, um, which Yvonne should be happy about. <laughs> but, um, but the furniture was the main thing. And that all this furniture came to probably around... Uh, 600, something like that, $600, maybe 700. So, um, it was under a thousand. The paint was, um, I think I spent with the paint supplies and everything. I want to say it was a little under a hundred or about a hundred dollars. And, um, the window treatments weren't that much. I want to say though, they were around 50, something like that. I'd have to check it. But um, it was definitely, I'd say, over, it was over like 800, maybe definitely under 1,000, just say around 1,000. So um, under 1,000, pretty good. I think I did pretty good. And uh, yeah, so I think it turned out great. I'm very inspired now to get busy working on some arts and crafts for my YouTube channel and hopefully you guys will enjoy and stay tuned and watch them and participate in them. That would be great. I'm not going to be doing a lot of them, but um, it's going to be mainly around holiday time, you know, like Thanksgiving, Christmas time, I'll start. And, uh, and then once I'm retired, I'll be planning a lot more and doing a lot more in here. So we'll be filming a lot in here, probably from this angle. <laughs> <laughs> so you can have a nicer view than, let's say, the busy view <laughs> over here. So thank you so much for joining us today on Happy Healthy Living with Yvonne Douglas. Remember, if you want that homey vibe, you need to subscribe. And please give this video a like. Until next time, my friends. Happy healthy living. Bye-bye.